Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can modify the appearance of a selected sparkline or sparkline group within a worksheet by first selecting the sparkline or sparkline group that you want to modify. Note that if you created the sparklines as a sparkline group, then you cannot format them independently of one another without first ungrouping them. Once you've made your selection, then click the Design tab within the Sparkline Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon to use the buttons available within this tab to modify the sparklines in the selected cell or cell range. You can click the Edit Data drop-down button that appears within the Sparkline button group to display a listing of commands. You can select the Edit Group Location and Data command to open the Edit Sparklines dialog box where you can change the data range or location range that you initially selected and then click the OK button to change the sparkline data. Note that this same dialog box will appear if you simply click the Edit Data button directly. You can choose the Edit Single Sparklines Data command from the button's drop down menu to open the Edit Sparkline Data dialog box where you can select a new data source for a single selected sparkline and then click the OK button to apply it. You can choose the Hidden and Empty Cells command from the drop down menu to open the Hidden and Empty Cells settings dialog box where you can choose the behavior and display of hidden and empty cells within the sparklines and then click the OK button to apply them. Next, in the Type button group, you can click either the Line, Column, or Win Loss button to select the sparkline style of the selected sparkline or sparkline group. In the Show button group, you can check or uncheck the checkboxes shown to show or hide the selected elements within the sparkline or sparkline group. You can select a sparkline style from the choices that are shown within the Style button group. The selected style will then be applied to the sparkline or sparkline group selected. You can click the Sparkline Color drop-down button to choose a color for the selected sparkline or sparkline group. If you selected the Line Sparkline style and also checked the Markers checkbox within the Show button group, you can then use the Marker Color drop-down button to choose the colors of the markers used within the Sparkline or Sparkline group. You can click the Axis button in the Group button group to select Axis options for the Sparkline data from the drop-down menu that appears. You can use the Group and Ungroup buttons to group and ungroup selected sparklines within a sparkline group if needed. You can also use the Clear button to delete sparklines as well as sparkline groups. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.